And Stephen, this just happened. It happened just after the store opened at 8:30 in the morning. Police say it's fortunate a customer did not walk in on it because the armed suspect was standing right inside the front doors. They looked more than suspicious and very dangerous when they walked through the front doors with their faces covered, one carrying a long silver gun. Police say they threatened the two female clerks and demanded the money from two registers. Then while one suspect opened each register and put the money in a white plastic bag, the second suspect kept watch and kept the gun pointed at the frightened clerks, then ordered them into a back room. It's a pretty bold move. It's light outside. The business is open. People could have come in after they started the a robbery. Who knows what would have happened then if someone would have came upon it. Obviously, the employees were, were uh, petrified or terrified. The person standing there with a long gun. Police say after the suspects took all the money, the one suspect stuffed the gun down his pants and they left on foot, running west on Eight Mile Road. They've done it before. I mean, they're prepared. They have masks on. They have hoodies on. They know. They actually, when they came to open the door, pushed it with their shoulder instead of using their hands, knowing not to leave prints. Now, even though the suspects had bandanas over their faces and their hoodies right up there, sometimes clothing or demeanor is familiar. So if you think you recognize one of the suspects or both, or if you know anything about this, call Warren Police right away. In Warren, I'm Cheryl Choden, Channel 7 Action News.